today's lesson we are going to be learning to use a ruler in order to measure. You will need a ruler, paper, pencil, and rubber. If at any point during this video I'm going too fast, then pause the video and catch up. From the 23rd of April to the 23rd of May, Muslims around the world are celebrating Ramadan. Muslims go to a mosque in order to worship. Since our topic is Harrow and it is the month of Ramadan, we are going to draw the Harrow Mosque. We are going to be using the centimeter side of a ruler, and the centimeter side goes from 0 all the way to 30, as you can see here. When you use a ruler, you must always start measuring from 0. So as you can see here, I've drawn a line on my piece of paper. You need to line up the 0 line with the line drawn. If we were to measure 5 centimeters, we line up our 0 with the line, and then we work our way down our number line until we get to 5. So as you can see here, the 5 on our ruler shows 5 centimeters, so we can make a line there to show that is where 5 centimeters is. Alright, now to start our sketch of the Harrow Mosque. The first thing we need to do is we need to measure the width of the mosque. So the mosque that we are dry drawing today is 18 centimeters wide. So you need to line up your ruler on the paper with zero at the edge of the paper, and then work your way down the ruler to find where 18 centimeters is. Put a little line above 18 so that you know that that is the width of the mosque. Turn your paper to make the next measurement easier, then putting your ruler on the edge of the paper starting at zero, so measuring the edge of the paper at the zero on your ruler. Then you're gonna work your way down the ruler until you get to six centimeters and draw a line there. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to draw your straight line across, so using your line that you made with your six centimeters, line up your ruler to make a straight line across all the way to where your 18 centimeter line is. Then take your ruler and make a straight line down using your 18 centimeter line down to the bottom of your page and you should have a nice little rectangle in the corner of your page. The next step is to measure four centimeters in from the side of your page. So lining up the zero with the edge of your page, working your way down the ruler to four centimeters and then make a small line. Then take your ruler and using your four centimeter line, draw a line from the top line down to the bottom of the page using that four centimeter line. The next step you're going to do is you're going to use that line you've just drawn and line it up with the zero on your ruler. You're then going to measure six centimeters on your ruler and make a small line there. Then using your ruler, going from the top line using your six centimeter line, go down to the bottom of your page. Next, you're going to take your ruler and put it in your first section and using your top line starting at zero, you're going to measure one centimeter down and make a line there. The next thing you're going to do is use that one centimeter line you've just drawn, using your ruler, go from the edge of your paper all the way to the next line using that one centimeter line, so it should look like this. Your next step is going to be to do the same thing in the third box. So using your top line, measure one centimeter down, and make a small line. So it should look something like this. Then using your ruler, you're going to measure from the end of the second section to the end of the third se section. So using that one centimeter line, draw your line straight across so it should look like this. We are now going to start our windows in the first section. So if you measure from the edge of the paper at the bottom of the section, measure in one centimeter and make a small line. Then take your ruler and using the small line you've just made, line up the zero with the small line and measure one centimeter again and make another small line. Using your ruler from the bottom of the page underneath the lines you've just drawn, you want to measure half a centimeter. So that means that you're going halfway between the zero and the one on the little longer line in between as you can see here. So measure half a centimeter from the bottom of the page. Using the two lines we've already drawn as guidance, 
draw a one centimeter line using that half centimeter line like this. Now we are going to use the end of our one centimeter line to draw a three centimeter line. So lining up at zero on the end of the line, drawing all the way up to three centimeters. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. So lining up the zero at the other end of the one centimeter line, using our line as guidance, work our way up to three centimeters. The next step you're going to do is to make a straight line using a ruler to connect the tops of both of the three centimeter lines. You are then going to use your ruler to draw a straight line half the length of this square you've just done and then using a ruler to cut that square in half and then the bottom section in half so it should look like four parts four quarters of your window and then you're going to take your ruler and split it height wise half way so it should look like that measuring up from the bottom of your page so starting at zero on the edge of your page you're going to measure half of a centimeter up. Remember half of a centimeter means it's halfway between the zero and the one and it's the line that's a little bit longer. Then from the side um, you're going to measure in half a centimeter, make a line, and then you are going to measure one and a half centimeters. So that means halfway between the one and the two and make a line to connect those. So it should look like that. And now from the top edge of your one and a half centimeter line, you're going to line up the zero at the edge. And you're going to draw one and a half centimeter line up. So it should look like this. And then you do the same to the other side. So lining up your zero at the edge of the line, drawing a line one and a half centimeters up. Then connecting the top of those two lines with a ruler to make a straight line across, making a square. You're now going to put the lines for the window. So halfway through, make a straight line with a ruler. And then flip your ruler and doing halfway the other way, make a straight line with your ruler. Using the top of the square you've just drawn, Line up the zero at the top of the square and make a measurement of one centimeter and make a line there. And then the next thing you're going to do is using the width of the square that you've drawn and the one centimeter line you've just drawn, draw a straight line across that is one and a half centimeters. So it should look like that. The next step is to make a two and a half centimeter line from the edge of your line. So lining up the zero on the edge of the line you've just drawn, draw a straight line up to two and a half centimeters. And then do the same on the other side. So lining up at zero on the other edge of the line and drawing a line to two and a half centimeters. Your next step is to connect those two lines with a ruler at the top. You're now going to make another one of your tall windows. So measuring from the end of your square window, you're going to measure over two centimeters. So lining up our zero at the edge of our window, making a line at two centimeters. Then we're going to use our ruler to draw the bottom of our next window. So lining up our zero at the line we've just created and make a line that is one centimeter long. So continuing along a ruler to the one centimeter. We are now going to the sides of our window. So turn your page so it makes it easier. Lining up your zero with the very edge of the line and make a line three centimeters long. So drawing our line up to our three centimeter mark on our ruler. And then we are going to do the same thing on the other side. So lining up our zero with the other edge of that line, 
and drawing a line up to the three centimeter mark on our ruler. Then making a line from the top of those two lines using a ruler to complete the top of the window. We are then going to do the lines for our window. So using your ruler, make a line halfway through the window, then divide that top part in half, and then the bottom part in half. You are then going to divide it in half lengthwise. So using your ruler, make a line halfway through. So it should look like this. We're now going to move into the third section of the moss. So measuring from the edge, half centimeter in, make a line. What you're going to do now is using your ruler, you are going to start at your zero at the line you've just made and make a one centimeter line going across. You're going to now turn your paper the other way Line up your zero at the edge of that line and make a line three centimeters long using your ruler. And then you're going to do the same to the other side. So lining up at zero at the edge of the line, draw a line three centimeters long using your ruler. We are then going to use our ruler to connect those two lines at the top to make a straight line across. We are then going to divide our window. So using a halfway line, make it in half, do the top section in half, and then the bottom section in half. Then you're going to divide it in half lengthwise. So using your ruler, divide it in half lengthwise. Then starting at the bottom of that window, you're going to measure a one centimeter gap. So Starting at zero, make a line at the one centimeter line, and then one at the two centimeter line, and connect those with your pencil. The next step is going to be to do the sides of our window. So, lining up our zero with the edge of our line, we're going to make a three centimeter line up. So, it should look like this. And then we're going to do it on the other side. So lining up our zero at the bottom of our line, making a three centimeter line using our ruler. And then using your ruler, you're going to connect the top of those two lines. The next part we're going to do again is to divide our window. So dividing that shape in half and then the top rectangle in half and the bottom section in half to make quarters. And then you are going to divide it in half lengthwise. So using your ruler, divide it in half to make the window. We're now going to start our third window in this section. So measuring from the bottom of our second window, using our zero on the edge of that window, measuring one centimeter in, make a little dot, and then you're going to make a line to the two centimeter line. So it should look like that. You are then going to do your three centimeter line up. So um, lining up your zero with the edge of the line you've just made, using your ruler to make a nice straight line three centimeters long. And then you're gonna do the same on the other side. So lining up the zero with the edge of the line, you're going to use the ruler to draw a beautiful straight line to the three centimeter mark on your ruler. You're then going to use your ruler to connect the two lines at the top with a nice straight line so that it should look like that. So you're then going to do the lines for the window. So dividing it in half and then dividing the top section in half. And then dividing the bottom section in half to make quarters. So there should be four areas. And then you're going to use your ruler to divide it in half lengthwise. So making a nice straight line in half. All right, guys, we're going to do our final window in this section. Actually, our final window overall. So starting with our zero at the edge of that window, making a dot at the one centimeter line and then drawing to the two centimeter line. So it should look like that. 
you are now going to do your three centimeter line. So lining up the zero at the edge of the line you've just made, using your ruler to mark a three centimeter line. And then you're going to do the same on the other side. So lining up your zero at the edge of your line, using your ruler to see where three centimeters is and draw a nice straight line to the three centimeters. You're then going to connect the two lines at the top with a line to make a straight line across. You're then going to make the parts for the window. So divide the section in half and then divide the top section in half and the bottom section in half and this should make quarters for the window. You're then going to use a ruler to divide it in half lengthwise, so making a nice straight line lengthwise to complete that window. Now all of the windows that you've divided into sections need to have a little circular, well, half circle at the top. So going from one line to the other, make a nice little half circle at the top of each of those sections. So after we're done all of our half circles, it should look like this. Our next step is to do a big semicircle or half circle at the top of our mosque. So starting on the third section, we're going to do a big semicircle at the top and it should look like that. The next step is going to be um, on the edge of our second section, we're going to do a one centimeter line. So using your ruler, make a one centimeter line on the top at the edge of the second section. Our next step is going to be to make a two centimeter line up from the line we've just done. So lining up your zero at the edge of the line, using your ruler to make a two centimeter line up. The next part is to do the same thing on the other side. So lining up zero to the other edge of your line and drawing a two centimeter long line using your ruler. Then using the two lines you've just drawn, connect them at the top using a ruler. You are then going to draw a two centimeter line on top of um, the line you've just drawn, but you want the line you've just drawn to start at the half centimeter line. So lining up half centimeter with that line, draw across to two centimeters. So it should be centered. And then you're going to use your ruler lining up at the edge of the line and make a half centimeter line going up. So it should look like that. Then you're going to do the same thing to the other side. So lining up at zero and make a half centimeter line up and it should look like that. The next step is to connect the two lines you've just done using a ruler. So doing a line straight across like that. You're then going to flip your paper and do a half centimeter line about halfway through that shape. So starting at zero and going through half centimeter. So it should look something like that. Then you're going to use your ruler starting at zero at the edge of the line you've just made and you're going to make a three centimeter line going up using your ruler. Then you're going to go do the same thing to the other side. So lining up at zero at the edge of the line and doing a three centimeter line up using your ruler. Then you're going to connect those two lines using your ruler at the top and straight across. And then the next step is to make a point at the top. So using your pencil, make a nice straight point at the top. And your final step is to write Harrow Mosque at the top so that you always know what you have just drawn. Amazing job, you guys. It was not an easy task to do today but if you gave it a shot, 
show me in the um, comments below. Drop your picture in there. Bye, guys.